What's up everyone, Ryan here, and I'm back with another MLB The Show 24 Road to the Show series video, and today it is time for the final series of the regular season, and Ryan Gamer and the Cincinnati Reds are trying to win the NL Central. We close out the season today with a three-game series in Chicago versus the Cubs with a chance to win the NL Central it is the Reds versus the Cardinals here for the division, both sitting at 84 wins. It is a tie right now, but the Cardinals are winning the tie break. So we probably need to sweep the Cubs. The Cubs, they're six and four in their last 10. They are out of the playoffs. The beautiful thing is in the last episode, although we lost the two game series against the Cleveland Guardians, we did clinch the playoffs. So yes, we do have postseason baseball. Let's get fired up. But the path to the World Series is much better if we win the NL Central. I need all your alls one times. I need all the hype and positive encouraging comments. Just like always, it all comes down to this final series of the regular season. It does not get better than this. You have the 78 and 81 Cubs. At home versus the 84-75 Cincinnati Reds. This Rally Reds team is playing insane baseball. Let's keep this up. I'm fired up today. You may hear me talk less here in this regular season finale and into the playoffs. Going to try to focus up and get the job done. Now, at the end of today's episode, you're going to see a full recap of the season stats for ryan gamer so i always like to on regular season finale show ryan gamer stats we're going to take a look at all that that will be at the end but right now let's get the job done come on what better what better way going into chicago against your rivals and crushing them to win the no central get your coffee whatever you're drinking cheers everybody let's go and welcome in, everybody. Glad you're with us. The show brings you a matchup of division rivals. It's the Cincinnati Reds and the Chicago Cubs. And if you all get some enjoyment, drop a like, subscribe for more. On the north side Let's of play Chicago, some ball. John Chomby and Chris Singleton. Here's some real power at the plate. Number 12. Jerry had Ryan hit so much batting practice after the last series. Let's see if it pays off. Javier on the mound. The sinker, cutter, four-seam slider, 12-6. This is a sold-out Wrigley Field here. To the right side. It's foul. And he grabs it foul. It's close. That was close. That's the pitch to hit. Just a little bit off. The pitch. That's it. Yes, and nothing fancy. Going. Nothing fancy. Just get on base. That's a nice well, opposite field single. You the line drive the other way. Oh, you feel really yeah, good like, about what you did at the plate. You trusted your hands. You let the ball travel, and you took the barrel straight to it. That's great work right there. Come on, L Ellie, get a rip now. I gotta be ready for the pickoff move. He swings and hits that a fly sounded ball. good. Field. Just a little short. He's got it, and that'll end the inning. So one left for Cincinnati. Now the Cubbies will get their first crack. No score. You're watching Major League Baseball. Ryan made a couple mistakes in the field in the last episode, so did work on fielding as well. Just gotta just can't make these mistakes, Say right? You just can't do it. The next Cub to hit. Not Chris if you want to win. The team leader in OPS. 0-0 zero, zero ball game. Bottom of the first. We have our first play in the field here with the runner on second and one out. Man at second. That one out to right. Under it. He's there. He's, he's out. Got it. That's a perfect play. Tag. Yes. And that's a double play. Come the on. Throw is there. That ends the inning. Exciting play and a Let's go. great throw to third for the double play, but man, that was just, just perfect. No plenty of time, right great there. tag Not great base by Marte. Ryan making up for his mistakes. And welcome back to the ballpark. Out of the fourth, digging in is the switch inning out. In the previous series, all right, we're down, down two one, top the fourth, and a pitch. 
That one not close. And it's one to know. Get down. Get down. Half makes the grab one away. Man, that's, that's one of those such a good swing. You remind yourself it's about the process. He did everything. Here's Jan Gomes. Now batting. Catcher. Gomes. Wow. Baseball is painful sometimes, isn't it? Sometimes it's a painful sport. Over 300 in his last 10 games. We hit the ball so well there. It just went right to the left field. Okay, we're down 2 1. Bottom of the fourth. One out. Come on, Reds. The pitch. Swing and a base hit. How much we can do there. So that will bring up the top of the order with one away. Nice job of driving that pitch the other way on a line. You know, hitters. Rocking by Cincinnati so Reds coffee cages, cup as well. On going to the opposite no field. Number and it doesn't two. always translate Second into the game, man. but right there it did. And he did it perfectly. Corner. Corner up to the plate. Two for two on the day with two doubles. Still in the fourth here. Runner on first, one out. At the belt and fires. In the air, right field. Lays out yes. and makes the play. The Ryan, the Punisher, that's that yeah. footwork that he's learned in professional tennis recently in wow, Top Spin 2K25. Look at that Shaggy. speed. That says that was a near perfect route, and it had to be. 19.57 miles per game. hour. I mean, this guy's instincts just seem to always put him in a position to That's make that tennis speed, I'm telling you all. He's taking his game to the next level. Once he started training for professional tennis. Looking for a big swing of the bat right here. Try to close that gap. But down. you know, at the very yeah. least, if you could Three, find one. a way to manufacture that run from first, it feels like it's really Eight. important to getting back into this ball game. On one. With a lot of movement on that sink. Plate. And we're the top half of the sixth. Runner. Here comes the pitch. Runner breaks for a second. And that one fouled I off. still think they need to have a pop-up that tells you what the manager, is it a hit and run? Is it a still? Are you supposed to hold the swing? You know, let me know, right? Righty delivers. Stays alive. You need to know that as a hitter. Here comes a pitch. Wouldn't One chase that time. Talk about the right guy. The Almost right hit us right they in really the stomach. Rally, and this guy is someone you can believe in to find a way to get on base. One time. One time right here. And the pitch. Takes a swing. Appeal to third. No Thank swing. Thank you, umpire. Marte leads it's off close. first with one away. Foul ball. Another it's just a little late. I was all play. over it. Come on. One time. Get a rip now, Ryan. Chases the fastball up the ladder. Struck him out. Bogey just ran out of patience. There. I misread it. I thought it was a sinker. To even that count up at two balls and two strikes, but that time chased outside the zone. Look at Ryan. Ryan shocks like, oh my. Here's Cody Bellinger, the center fielder, number 24. Sorry, we got this. Bellinger. Should really have two hits this game. That other one just barely. Good play by the left fielder, right? They barely got to that one, but. 3-1, Cody Bellinger up to the plate here. Bottom of the seventh. One runner on, two outs. Need to make a play here. Base knock right field. Throw into third. Not in time. He's safe. That was a beautiful play. How hit close right was there. that? Just a solid swing right there. Caught it out front and ripped it into the outfield for the base hit. Those always feel great. That's a perfect, perfect throw. That perfect, perfect throw went a little bit on the inside. That's because Ryan doesn't have the highest throw accuracy. Usually that's on the money. That's close. He's not going to get cheated up there. Hey, we no, held him to not. no runs there, he's though. He's going to do damage with every swing he takes. This could be Ryan Gamer's last at bat here of this game. 3 1, let's get on base. First pitch doesn't find the zone. Now this manager knows that his players are just trying to do too much. Everybody needs to just take a deep breath, relax, and let it naturally happen. 
Yeah, well, that's, that's outside. Take 2 0. Now 2 0. He's been raking in recent games, and a big on reason now. why getting ahead in counts. He's been able to do that consistently, and you see the results. They say you win. That's a nasty seeker. Wow, did y'all see how quick that because was and how quick it breaks? A two run lead and All right. The top of the eighth. And That's another ball. ball. His release is tough. In the on deck circle. The re release is tough to read. Got some high velo. 3 1 count. Home run hitters count. One time. The pitch. Fouls one off out of play. Back to our left. That's in the weak spot. Load a little bit sooner because of the good velo. Good way to strike Ryan out there. Two down. Nobody on. Swing and a pop up. Two in the weak spot. That's smart pitching for Ryan. Makes the grab and that's the inning. You know, those up high pitched in the zone, and although one, Ryan's two, been three, a lot better here in MLB The Show 24. Three, one ball game. Still his big weakness. And you can strike you can strike us out with that one. And now it's Garrett Cooper up to him. We're not playing bad Garrett. in these past three games. Cooper. Had a hit. Is on a hit streak still. A hit in each game. A home run in game two there at Cleveland. And then had a hit here in this game. Almost two hits. But this Rally Reds team has to get the bats going. We had the bats going this Runner month, but scoring position, nobody out. they're not Here's going the now. Half of the eighth inning. That to right. Drops into the glove. Runner takes right. It got the perfect throw, but a little too late. Too late. He's up to third in the fly out with one away. The bat. That was the good bat. effort. Yeah. Go. So one gone with a runner at third. Now it's Jan Gomes. Ryan, if the lights are in your well, eyes, put on the sunglasses, right? One gone in the inning. <laughs> well, the it's sun? Is the sun out? That one hit to right. Sizes this one up. He's got it. That's perfect runner throw. From third. The tag is yes! out of the play. Ryan, the, play. the punisher. Throw is there. That ends the inning. Base Punishing base runners him, one play at a time. That was decision. fantastic. Outstanding throw on a frozen rope at home. That'll end the inning with a bang. What a tag. What a tag by Stevenson on that one. Good slide, too. That was a good slide. Just a great tag. Give him the heater. Ian right. Happ up to hit. Reds eight. lead 4 3. Rally yeah. Reds are back. Wake up, YouTube. Bottom of the ninth. Nobody on one out. Crowd locked in right now. One run game here in the ninth. My drive. That's a base hit. I'm just so glad we didn't have to steal a home run there. I'm so nervous. Having himself a really nice game at the plate. Good job getting the foot down so he could catch it out front and pull it. Turned on it nicely for the knock. I was so nervous. Come on, team. Come on, team. The well, whole game, this team has Reds to win. with that 10th man. Those fans making a lot of noise, but they took the lead in the ninth inning, quieted things down, and were able to get those final three outs in the bottom half as well. Just a very well-executed ball game. Reds win. Ryan goes one for four. But wow, what a comeback. Down 3-1. The team rallies together. That is a big-time win for this ball club. Thank you all for the one times. Thank you all for never giving up. Let's get fired up. We had seven hits and four runs. They had 11 hits and three runs. Matt Veerling hits two home runs and four RBIs. Matt Veerling is the reason this Reds team just won. Can we get a round of applause for Matt Veerling? Are you kidding me? Two home runs, four RBIs is responsible for all of our RBIs. That's how you play ball right there, Matt. That is how you play ball. Come on. Let's not. Let's actually go back to the clubhouse. We we are not risking the game not auto-saving, right? We want to go back, let the game auto-save, and make sure that... Because if it crashes when you go right to the next game, we just got a diamond perk, it look like. Uh, but yeah, if it crashes 
before the next game, you're in trouble, right? You're in trouble. Here we go. Let's wait. Let's actually take a look at the standings after each game. Well, we have to see what the Cardinals did, right? So let's advance. Let's advance. Make sure I don't hit the wrong button. Advance through date. And now let's take a look to see Cardinals won or did the Cardinals lose? Cardinals loss. Okay. <laughs> okay. All right. One game at a time. One game at a time, everyone. Focus up. Let's go get the job done. How about it? Let's go get the job done. Two games left in the season. Ryan's batting 414 average and 42 home runs. Hunter Green on the mound against Jameson, who's had a great season. Both of these pitchers have had great season seasons. It's time. Get your coffee, whatever you're drinking. Get your snacks. Cheers, everybody. We have ourselves a show today, don't we? This whole series has been so cinematic, right? This it might be the show career series. It's been amazing. And welcome into the ballpark. Happy to have you with us. MLB The Show has action out of the NL Central. It's the Cincinnati Reds and the Chicago Cubs. Josh Why do they Shami call them the Rally Reds? Chris Singleton providing the color and singing the big bat in the lineup so far this year. Number 12. Yeah, Boogie's one of the pillars of this lineup. And when you have a guy like that that's so consistent and so productive, you want to make sure you can do whatever Look at you those can rookie get him stats. To get him as many at bats as you can in a ball game. If you do that, you got a really good chance of scoring a lot of runs. All right, we'll be back to get this one started after this. Ryan played for the Cubs back in MLB the Show 21, uh, I believe. North side of Chicago, John Chambi and Chris Singleton. Now at the plate, number 12. He's a guy who does it all with the lack of contact in today's game. This guy. Hits for contact, so he delivers average, but there's on base. All right, the too. manager wants us to drive in a run. Let's do it. Runner in scoring Early position in count, here in the first. You have to be real careful because of that power, but then if this hitter gets a strike or two on him, he's still very comfortable, and because he has the ability to get the barrel to the baseball, he's a threat deep. That's Swing it. A what a rip. Right center field. That'll touch That's what this team relies on Ryan Gamer for it. right there. Now he launches a throw over his head. Caught in a rundown now. The tag and he's out. But a run. That is what the team does not rely on Ryan for. Base running. So we got the run. Let's nobody saw that. Let's get those all out of the way before the playoffs. You all remember. And it be the sh maybe you don't if you're new here and it would be the show 22 and Ryan led the Mets to back for back World Series he had like 10 base running errors in the playoffs and like three in the World Series so it's gonna happen let's get them out now that's on me I held down the button too long I got I don't know I don't know what I was doing all right come on runners on the corners top of the third that misses. that's a nasty oh, no. sweeping curve what Like I said, that's what the team strike. relies on Ryan for. <laughs> first and third, two away here in the second game of the series. That one we'll take. misses. Two and one. Tough spot right here. A couple runners on. Two ball count. You can't nibble, but you have to execute and finish your pitch. If you leave something out over the plate, it's going to bring in some runs. And fouled off. Got to rip that. Got to rip that. Home run pitch right in the sweet spot. 2-2. Two, two. two outs. And the curve is down and in. This pitcher has a sweeping curve and a 12-6 drop. This is, wow. James said it's tough to hit. And here's a 3-2. Fouls that off to the left. That's a and great pitch. To strike Ryan out. That's where you put it. Full count. Payoff pitch. In That's the gone. Right field, pretty well struck. That's gone. Going back. One no, it's not. In, it's going to score both runners, though. Hold. <laughs> they add on as the run scores all the way from first. Right, it's like, I did it, coach. I did it. I stopped the second. I thought it was gone. Written all over it as it jumped off of his stick. What a rip. That was close. 
the whole team, what you all probably couldn't hear here, probably didn't pick up on the camera. Uh, the whole team was yelling, Ryan, stop! Stop, Reds, Ryan! <laughs> Thing you talk Three, about a guy that zero. has all the skills. The range is really good, but the arm just stands out, and he makes all the plays. Three RBIs already. A swing and a miss. Struck him out. That ends the inning, and they limit the damage. They put two on the board with a couple of hits, no errors, and one left. We move on to the bottom of inning number three. Hey, Ellie's going to strike out a lot, right? It's, it's going to happen. Nothing. That's all right. New inning getting started, and now the right fielder, number 12. Number 12. Come on, Hunter. Was that Hunter who allowed that mini or somebody else? Get that hot team back in there to swing the bats. We got this. Top of the six. We are down six to three now. No outs. Just got to get on base. Manager David Bell wants us to hit a double or better. All right. Come on, team. Ryan has three RBIs already and two doubles. Clearly not enough. And a pitch. And a foul ball. Good pitch. Great spot there. One time. One time! Which one of you all just dropped it one time? I know somebody did. You legend. Yeah, we didn't hit a double. The manager's like, okay, you didn't do that, but good job, right? Ellie De La Cruz. No, these guys definitely Still. looking for a oh, big no. swing of the bat right here. Try to close that gap. But, you know, at the very least, if you could find a way to manufacture that. The kick in the pitch. Runner goes. There's a ball. Goes. Yes! The throw, safe. Does tennis help Ryan Gamer's base running? Well, didn't look like it earlier in this game, but that shows it does. Look at that speed. What a jump, too. And he grounds one to the right side. Corner. It's all right. Yeah. He advanced the runner. That's all he needed to so do. Critical to keep an eye on the pitch count this time of the year. Guys can start to run. Come on, Jake. Mechanics can drop Jake. off, and we know they need him to be fresh and ready for big innings in October. Come on, Jake. The one-one. For the runner at third, this is who they want at the plate. He's so good at getting a run across in these situations. One two count. Left hand batter waits. Swing at a ball popped up. Corner moving under it. He's got it. Out number two. Sorry. Sorry. We got this. That's unfortunate, right? But we've we've been in the same so position. I've done the same thing. The first baseman, steer. Spencer Steer. Everybody one time for Steer right now. 3-0 count. Is this going to be a walk or swing away? So now two on. Yes. And two outs. Thank you for the Pretty one times. Right Keep there. them coming. Last pitch wasn't even much to think about. And ready to hit now Look for who Cincinnati. it is. The Matt hero Cleveland. from so the last game. The big boys in this lineup, but he has been a pleasant surprise all season long. The pitch. Swing and a ground ball. Yes, he does it hit. again. Another RBI. Just a two-run deficit. Matt Veerling is on fire. Really nice job staying up the middle with his approach. He didn't try to do too Nothing much fancy, yeah. Just shot it through the infield. Nothing fancy. Just hit it where they weren't. Textbook hitting on top of the ball. The switch Put it in play. Score the runner. Three for threes, double yeah. twice, and single. Go. We're down 6-4. We could tie the game with one swing. Daniel on the mound with a four seam slider, 12 6 sinker, circle change, brings the heat at 101. All right, two outs. Get a rip now. It's coming in quick. As a pitcher, you know the right in the weak spot, too. Ready to push things with this speed. A base hit's probably going to be a big run, so you really have to execute on the mound. Check swing. Did he go? Yes, he did. That's close. Good pitch. Three for three on the day. Come on, Ryan. One time. Tying run at the plate. And one, one and two. Two strikes. Out to center. Belly That's a home run pitch. Slider right in the sweet spot. It Misread it. The catch. 
And that's the third out. So one left for Cincinnati. And the score remains 6 4. Shake it off. We got the Rally Reds here. We may get another chance. I don't know. We may get another chance. Come on, Reds. Eight hits to eight hits, but they're winning 6 4. I don't care if you're a top team or you're a middle of the pack team. Every ball club wants to be dominant at home. Winning a game like this just helps to boost the confidence and makes you look forward to coming out again for the next one. That you know, hey, the pitching didn't show up, defense did not show up. Did we have a, we didn't have a play in the field, did we? They must have just kept hitting home runs. Three for four, two doubles, three RBIs, four for eight on the series. A nine-game hit streak. Ryan has been so clutch, has had seven RBI, RBIs in the last four games. The bats were going. That's nine hits, four runs, but we allowed nine runs on nine hits. Hunter Green allowed six earned runs in four innings. Hunter, we need our ace to play better than that, right? Hey, we all have those days. You got to build them up. You better believe Ryan's going to go into that clubhouse Build up Hunter Green. Build up his teammate. It's a long season. We know how to play the game. Let's do it. I'm going to pause the video, take a screenshot, and then we'll take a look at the standings. You know, that's a frustrating loss. That's a frustrating loss when we played insane. You know, uh, hitting offense was there. Offense was there. It got it together in the last game. It was mostly Matt Veerling in the last game. And then Ryan Gamer and Matt Veerling, and the, really the whole lineup got it going that game. Just... Yeah, you, you gotta you gotta play better defense, right? It's time to check the standings here. So we're gonna have to let's simulate through the day. Simulate through the day. Make sure I don't hit the wrong button there. Moment of truth. Did the Cardinals win or did they lose? Cardinals won. Okay, okay. This final game of Ryan Gamer's rookie season is playing for the NL Central. Now, the unfortunate part of this is if the Cardinals win, they clinch the division. They win the tiebreak, it looks like. So, in order for us to win the division, not only do we have to take down the Cubs in front of their home fans in the regular season finale, the Cardinals have to lose. Get your one times ready. Get your popcorn, your snacks, and be ready for a show. I'm a bit nervous. Hey, how could you not be? How could you not be? You know, like it all comes down to this. Your whole season. Yeah, we've clinched the playoffs, which is amazing, but I want to win the NL Central. Ryan hit his 100th RBI, 42 home runs on the season, batting 419. One game left. We got Nick Lodolo versus Jordan Hicks. Final game of Ryan Gamer's rookie season playing for the NL Central. It does not get more cinematic than this. This career mode series has been epic. Thank you all so much for all the support on it. It is time. Come on. Get your coffee, whatever you're drinking. Cheers, everybody. Live from the north side of Chicago, Wrigley Field. The show brings you a matchup of division rivals. It's the Cincinnati Reds and the Chicago Cubs. Wow, I wish the Cardinals would have lost that last game. First pitch coming at you right after the break. On uh, the north side of Chicago, John Chomby and Chris Singleton stepping in. Nine game hitting streak. Number 12. Right field, That's a good pitch to hit. Line, Just misread it. Four seam slider curve, two seam. And the 0 1. That one, one missed. Read the curve, but two nasty. Nasty curveball. That thing broke a ton. Breaking ball inside. Good yeah, check swing. Too. This hitter's looking for a fastball, but I'm not sure he's going to get one. Pitcher doesn't have to challenge him. If he feels better about his off-speed secondary stuff, then stay with it. That's Strike a good two. pitch. I think he was sitting off-speed there. 2-2 two, two count. Let's just get on base. That's it. And that one Nothing fancy. Through. Joey gets on base and keeps it going. Nothing fancy. Just get on base, right? That cool. Now it's the second baseman, Ellie De La Cruz. 
Chris has been a good year for him having already set a new career high for RBIs in a season. Come on Ellie. Fly a ball to right. Suzuki has a beat on it. And Not ideal but plenty of baseball that left. Is that. Reds leave one. Now the Cubbies will get their first crack. No score. You know, watching Major League Baseball our pitchers, on our show. starters and bullpen have to get it together here before the playoffs because that's been the problem this month. So one out, nobody on. And now our our bats have been hot. We get a play in the field. Did we have a play in the field last game? I don't think we had a, a play in the field at all from what I remember. Bottom of the second, nobody on, one out here. Zero zero nothing ball game. Here in the bottom of the second. Line and a base hit into right. Let's just not make a mistake so this game. A with a one -out no mistakes. Showed a willingness to drive that pitch the opposite way. Didn't get jumpy, didn't try to pull the ball. He let it get deep, took the barrel right to it, and then extended through the swing. Now battle. Two runners on, top well, the, the third, no outs. Yesterday's struggles is to get on the board early. They've got a guy in scoring position. They've got to find a way here to get him in. On the ground to the left. I read and fastball. Foul ball. If I pick There's up on that slider, it's launched. Power. What I like about something being hit to the right side into the outfield is that the base runner at second has a very good read and can determine whether or not he can score on that base hit. The pitch. Just off the inside. That's close. Edge. Umpires on Ryan's side. Just of the pitch inside. That was really very close. The half is open. High fly That's ball, such right a field. good pitch. It's right in there. It you have to swing out. with two strikes. That's a beautiful slider. That's such a good spot. Honestly, not much you can do on that one, right? Here at Wrigley Here Field. Here's 0 Patrick Wisdom. Reds lead. He's not going to get cheated up there. No, he's not. He's looking to do damage with every swing he takes. Ball to the fourth. One run game here. Kicks and fires. Swung on, belted. Long run. Dives. What a play. <laughs> the okay, is that Ryan Gamer out there? That looks like so Ryan Lee, the legend catch, from Top Spin 2K25. Because of the route he took to get there, right? That's Chris? how he. Yeah, that's how he learned that. Shows us just how from working on his footwork in tennis. Was, in fact, that's about as good as it gets. Pretty much a direct line. <laughs> that was amazing. <laughs> get that. Ryan Lee, the legend, the Punisher, gamer, dominating in the world of professional tennis and in baseball as well. And golf. And that one is in the dirt. And it's 1-0. Oh. We're 4-1. Right through there for a Come strike. Come on, team. Wake up. The wind of the pitch. That oh. one not close. And we it's got this. And one. Plenty of baseball left. Top of the fifth. We are down three runs here. And a foul ball. Bounced out to short. Swanson. Over to first. And that is that. That's unfortunate. Reds down in order. And this is still a 4-1 ball game. We're not out of this game. We are the rally Reds. Come on, Reds. Rally together, please. Now it's the right fielder, one for three. Rally Reds! Well, the way these two teams have battled in this game, you know you need more. Got to continue to add runs if you're going to get out of here with a win. Runners on the corners. Reds now have a 6-4 lead here in the top of the six with one out. Drew Smiley on the mound has a 12-6 curve, sinker, and cutter. That one's in there, one That's a nasty curveball. Coming through now, and with one home run already in this inning, they're definitely looking to do some more damage. That misses. Take. Ball, one strike. 
First and third, one down. Now it's belted. Yes! The bat flip! Home run. Three run shot. Ryan, the Punisher. Touch them all. His 43rd home run of the season, and they add to the lead. It's 9 4. That, that ball one just sounded was smashed. different. It might have been the loudest moment yet. Man, my ears are ringing. I can feel that swing from the booth. Do you want to win or do you want to lose, YouTube? Really great job of anticipation there. He knows he throws the sinker. That one down in the zone. You're trying to beat it to the spot it's getting to. Well, he won. That ball was smashed. And now number 12. He crushed one out of here earlier. An absolute tape measure shot. Look at that look. Look at that guy. That thing. His swing yes. man is so clean right now. I doubt he even felt the baseball make contact. Did that with the fan bat. just catch that ball? That was what that was traveling 112 off the bat, 111. 9 6 lead, top the eighth. Nobody on. Let's get another one. Fastball for you a better strike. believe we're going to watch that replay back at one the out, end. Base is empty. Yeah. Swing and a miss. That one in the dirt. Misread that splitter a bit. The pitch. Warning track. Wall. Yes. And you can touch them all. Ryan Gamer in. showing appreciation to his fans here in Chicago. Another homer. His second home run of the game. It's 10-6. Do you want to win his or do you want to lose, YouTube? Roof, That's all I'm going to say. Lately, he's on a really good run. Are you kidding me? Ryan the Punisher. Hey, he's played in Chicago for back three years ago. No showing appreciation to his fans here. Haunt him for a while. An 0-2 mistake. That's supposed to be a pitch out of the zone. He left it in a spot that the hitter could do some damage with, and that's exactly what he did. That's the first time you all have now ever seen the switch hitting power this threat. both bat flips in he's one game. A homers already, so can he possibly do it again? Come on, man. Of course he can. Those two he hit were legit, and he looks pretty locked in right now at the dip. No doubt home runs from both sides of the plate. You saw both bat flips. 13 to 7 lead here in the top of the ninth. Carl Edwards. We're going to hit an another home run on Carl Edwards here. You better watch out, Carl. And the first pitch misses for ball one. Way to lay off that fastball up right there. You're looking for something you see well that you can handle, but you also have to keep the discipline so that Cole you're scared. Out pitches that are just a little too high. I'd be scared too. Two down, nobody on. That one missed. He's now not going to pitch to us. Home. David Bell gave Ryan the green light to swing here. And a four-pitch walk. Good take. Carl's like, no, I'm not okay giving him another outcome. one. Yeah. It wasn't an intentional <laughs> walk, but he wasn't exactly trying to attack. Look at Ellie. Either. Three for five, yeah, two doubles. Ellie De La Cruz. These rally reds rallied together. Come on. Cardinals need to lose, though. I wish it gave two us score outs. updates. And a swing and a miss. Third out, and that ends the frame. So Was no that runs. the final no bases, play we no see and one left on base. of Ryan's Two, rookie three, season? Four, set to hit in the bottom of the ninth. Reds out front, 13 to 7. That's how you close out a season, though, right? Come on, come on. Key to this game was that huge sixth inning. They jumped Reds all win. over the opposing pitching, and it was like they knew what was coming. And that kind of confidence just takes a team to the finish line, and that's what they did. They got the win in this game. That's how you close out a season. Three for five, two home runs, a single, four RBIs. Goes seven for 13 on his final series of his rookie season. Seven RBIs, a 10-game hit streak to close out the season. Has a 7.9 war, second in the National League. Simple question that Ryan answered in that game. Do you want to win or do you want to lose? You know who else did this entire hitting Lineup, Tyler Stevenson, four RBIs, two home runs. Ellie, two doubles, three hits, two scored twice. Spencer Steer, two for three, three RBIs. Our pitching has really struggled.
but this team locked it in. We scored eight runs in the sixth. Okay, let's take a look at those replays. Let's take a look at those home runs because that was insane. Two no doubt home runs. One from the left side of the plate, one from the right. We take a look at this. I mean, that thing was launched. <laughs> That's my favorite, my favorite home run celebration bat flip. What? <laughs> That's Ryan the Punisher from WWE. That's the same look he gives to his opponents when he's defending his Universal Championship. He's held the title for over a thousand days, trying to complete his story against Roman Reigns here soon. That ball was tattooed. And that fan caught that ball. <laughs> uh, who knows? Uh, Jerry might recruit that fan here to this Reds team. But one more time. Look at the look. Look at Ryan the Punisher. Yes. <laughs> That's how you close out a season against your rival. That's when you come out with that look right there. Look at that look. When you play against your rivals, that's how you look at the pitchers on the opposite side. That's the face you give them. The same look he gives his opponents in WWE. And then straight into the bat flip and just stares it down with that Punisher walk. <laughs> yes. It does not get more cinematic than that. Take that, Chicago. Take that. <laughs> Nothing I like more than beating the Cubs. <laughs> Actually, beating the Cardinals. Uh, but Cubs would be part of the second. But wow. <laughs> I love it. I'm going to pause the video, take a couple screenshots, and we'll watch the other one. I love the boos from the fans there, though. I think that was the hardest hit home run from Ryan Gamer, but the fans go straight into the boo. I, I love it. <laughs> 34,000 fans came out to Chicago to watch that home run show back to back shots. That ball was tattooed, but so was this one. Wow, I love baseball. <laughs> Oh my, here we go, and to the same spot, to the same spot, a couple of souvenirs. <laughs> the booze, listen, I love it. Ryan, hey, Ryan still has fans here in Chicago. Keep in mind, Ryan plays for the Chicago Blackhawks. I forgot to mention this. Ryan, these fans, the Chicago Blackhawks fans love Ryan, but the Cubs fans do not. And... <laughs> He was trying to show his appreciation to the the Chicago Blackhawks fans in attendance, but they did not. They were not too happy on that one. <laughs> Every Saturday morning, you watch Ryan Gamer on the ice here on the Gamer Building YouTube channel, <laughs> trying to lead the Chicago Blackhawks back into a potential playoff berth. But that's going to be a long road ahead. But wow, these Chicago fans are not happy right now. That looks like a. The finish there looks like a tribute to his golf swing. I love this, though. I could watch this over and over. <laughs> what a moment. Regular season finale. Ryan Gamer fired up. That's the Ryan we know and love, right? That is the Ryan we know and love. Come on. Having fun out there. Let's go. Yes. You better believe the Cubs will remember that next season. Ryan better be careful. He might want to just jump out of the way when he comes up to bat against the Cubs in the next season. <laughs> they already missed the playoffs. Ryan Gaber out here. <laughs> Tribute to the fans. He, but hey, he's doing it all for fun, all for the Chicago Blackhawks fans. You know, it is what it is. <laughs> you got to have fun out there. You got to have fun. The moment of truth, though, everyone. The moment of truth. Simulate through date. Congratulations! The Reds have finished the season 86 and 76 and won their division! You will be taking on the Giants in the division series. The NLDS, everybody. Ryan Gamer led this Cincinnati Reds team not only into the playoffs, led them to win the division. We were down in that final game. You talk about a cinematic episode, a cinematic moment. 
this Reds team won the division. This Cincinnati Reds team, I repeat, has won the NL Central, taking down the Cardinals. Nothing I like more than taking down to winning versus the Cardinals and then taking them down in the division. 86 wins to 85 wins. Phenomenal. Do you all realize how clutch this team was? Rewind back. Go back. Watch five episodes ago. From then on. Before the playoffs. Just go back and watch it. Relive those moments. Because this team was looking like we were not going to make the playoffs. It was a battle for the division. We went on a seven game win streak, I believe. Maybe eight games. We finished the season on a 7-3 record in the last 10 games. That is how you win ball games. This team is electric. This team can win it all. That is a division win by one game. It does not get more cinematic than that. It does not get more electric than that. Look at those Dodgers just dominated this season. So let's see. Dodgers, Reds and Cardinals made the playoffs. Dodgers and Giants made the playoffs. Look at look at the uh so Phillies, Cardinals, and Giants. Wait. Pirates snuck in? So I was wait, is that a tie? Did they make it? So that means. No, they did it. They lost the tie break. Okay. So they didn't make the playoffs. So Phillies, Cardinals, and Giants. So almost three Cardinals almost came back to make the playoffs. So that was close. That was close. Giants battled in barely. Sorry, Pirates fans out there. Y'all barely fell short. But tough, tough, very tough to make it this year. Orioles win the division there in the AL East. Rays and Yankees clinch the playoffs as well. Look at that division. I am so glad we are not in that division. And then the Twins, 97 wins. What a season. They clinched division and best record in the league. And then Dodgers, right, clinched the best record in the NL, I believe. Uh, Mariners clinched. Astros made it as well. Rangers barely missed out. Wow, look at that battle. Yankees barely made the playoffs. Yeah, Dodgers had the best record. Braves had a great season. Look at this. Everyone, your Reds are in the playoffs. Not only that, Division <laughs> face off against the Giants. It's October baseball. It is October baseball. I can't believe it. NLDS coming up. Now, they, here, if you all that are not familiar with my series, you all will see two games per episode. Two, Sometimes one, depending on what happens. You'll see two games per episode in the playoffs. So that's how I always do it. Two games at a time. Two games at a time. So it'll be that way until we win the World Series, because we will. This team will win this World Series. Let's see them through this day. Orion Gamer can hit the batting cages here. Practice his contact. Uh, so I'm going to pause it and do this training. Then we'll take a look at all of Ryan's stats. Okay, so a great practice session. 28,000 score. Got gold. Ryan's dialed in in the batting cages right now. I This is going to be awesome. This is going to be awesome. It will be Hunter Green on the mound versus Logan Webb. Cincinnati versus the Giants in the NLDS. I, I can't believe it. Th I just want to say thank you to all of you all. You all never gave up in this team. This team was 10 games out of the division lead when Ryan got called up. You all believed. You all kept dropping the one times, kept dropping the positive encouraging comments, and I greatly appreciate it. You all are all legends. Thank you so much for all the support, all the hype, this series has been phenomenal and I, I i just i can't believe it i really can't okay so let's take a look at the stats now i hope that oh i wonder so i advanced to where we are in the playoff division i wanted to go ahead and advance so that we could take a look at everything but that means that it's going to say we're in the postseason right so we'll have to look at the individual cards right so because it's showing the playoffs that's okay We'll just look at it here. Okay. Ryan Gamer's season summary. Played 77 games in Major League Baseball. Had 60 runs. 127 hits. 23 doubles. Only two triples. But with his speed, that makes sense. Ends with 44 home runs. We will take a look at league leaders as well. Because, I don't know. We might have won the National League in home runs with 44. 
104 RBIs, 40 walks, only 27 strikeouts in over 300 at-bats. That's amazing. Eight stolen bases, believe it or not. That's a stat that all of us, I feel like, are very surprised to see. A caught stealing only three times, believe it or not. A batting average of 422. A OBP of 485. A slugging of 950. Just insane. An OPS of 1.4. That's insane. We had three sack flies. Routed to double play only six times. That's amazing. What? Four intentional walks. We had 286 total bases. We had a 70% stolen base percent. I'm actually amazed to see that. 46 assists. 109 putouts. Only two errors. Believe it or not, Ryan's going for that gold glove a 987 fielding percentage played 683 innings has a war of 8.2 that is absolutely insane what walk percent 11 percent kate honestly strikeout percent that's really low 7.8 that's amazing 1.48 walks per strikeout or walk to strikeout rate Isolated power, I have no clue what that stat means. But I want to show you all the stats, you know, for, for everybody that knows. I don't know what isolated power is, honestly. At-bats per home run, 6.8. That is insane. Power speed number, no clue, 13.5. Secondary average of 678. Batting runs, 78. Stolen base runs, 0.6. Runs created, 140. Range factor, 2.04. I don't yeah, I don't know what a lot of those stats mean, but they seem good, so we'll take it. Now, as we take a look at the awards, Ryan Gamer has won Rookie of the Year in 2024. He won Silver Slugger and your home run champion. What? Okay. <laughs> yes! Ryan Gamer gets called up 77 games in Major League Baseball 44 home runs and is your 2024 home run champion are you kidding me that is insane that is legendary stats now we can take a look at our whole team let's take a look at our whole team uh TJ Friedel hey, let's look at LA how did LA do this season let's go all the way back LA had an average of 262 21 home runs, 71 RBIs. It's really, I'll take it. That's good. TJ Friedel, average of 286 and 43 RBIs with five home runs. Matt Veerling, he got hot there at the end, didn't he? Batting 260, 12 home runs, 49 RBIs. Marte, 302 average. That's amazing. What? 14 home runs, 66 RBIs. Struck out a lot, but that's an amazing season right there. Wow. Wow. Jefferson, a 220. Didn't get to play a lot, though. Jake Fraley, 261, 16 home runs, 52 RBIs. Will Benson, had, didn't have a great year, but Ryan Gamer ended up taking his spot, right? So, four home runs, 17 RBIs. Got injured, remember? Got injured. Look at his cold spots. He had a tough year. But they made the right choice, right? Stuart Fairchild, 255, nine home runs, 26 RBIs. Encarnacion had uh, 21 RBIs, six home runs in 252 average i don't remember seeing him in the lineup very much did you all was he in the lineup at all maybe at the beginning i don't remember seeing strand in the lineup very much tyler stevenson had a solid year at the catcher position 245 16 home runs 52 rbis uh, spencer steer had a good season as well a pretty similar to stevenson a little bit better average 256 11 home runs 54 rbis we'll take it our team struck out way too much, didn't they? Kelm Carrier, although he didn't have a great season, didn't play a lot. Uh, this team has a lot of young talent, and he showed up in key situations, if you all remember. So there it is. So we looked at everybody. So I want to take a look at the league leaders now and see how the entire league did. Can you all believe? Let's take a look at awards first. Let's see who won the MVP. So, okay. Wait, are we just showing... That's postseason, World Series. Here we go. Those have not been... 
played yet. Shohei Otani wins MVP. 278 average, 41 home runs, 132 RBIs. Okay, Ryan Gamer should have won MVP. <laughs> I mean, I'm just saying, Shohei Otani had an incredible season, right? A two-way player and probably dominated from both sides of the plate. I mean, from as a from pitching and hitting, right? Four, yeah, 17 wins, 10 losses. Okay, yeah, he he deserved it. He deserved it, but still, I'm just saying. Ryan Gamer comes in. The game, the team is 10 games out of being able to make the playoffs or being able to win the division. Six games off the playoffs, I think, something like that. I can't remember. All I know is 44 home runs, 100 RBIs. Average over 400. I'm just saying, probably should have been your NL MVP, but congrats to Shohei Otani. Love to see Shohei up there. Had an incredible season. And American League is Mike Trout. 50 home runs. So, yeah, Mike Trout won the home run title of the AL. Ryan Gamer wins it in the NL. But wow, what a season. And Take a look, look at the Cy Young. Tyler Glasnow takes it. Spencer Strider and Shohei Otani up there as well. Wow, Tyler had a good season. Look at LA. No wonder they had the best record. They are dominant. They dominated this season. And Garrett Cole and AO 23 and 4 on the Yankees. Look at this. An ex Cincinnati Reds there. Luis Castillo, 23 and 7, with a 2.17 R. ERA, but look at Garrett Cole's ERA. 1.95. Are you kidding me? <laughs> All right. That's a little bit of a season. Batting title goes to Christian Yelich. You wonder if it's based on a number of games you played. I wonder if you have to play a number of games because Ryan Gamer should have won this title, but I think you have to have a number of at bats to get it. But Yelich gets it. What an amazing season. Batting 359, 22 home runs, 82 RBIs. Andrew McCutcheon, 348. Acuna 320 and in the American League you have Corey Seager at 352 142 RBIs and 58 home runs never mind about Mike Trout winning the home run title of the AL that goes to Corey Seager wow Mike Trout had a great season though that's that's amazing wow Jordan had an amazing season as well the, hit, the hitters were rocking this year weren't they wow Kevin Ginkle, 46 saves, gets the reliever of the year. David Bednar and then Evan Phillips up there. And then Matt Moore there in the American League for the Angels. Emmanuel, Emmanuel Clause and Duran as well. Rookie of the year goes to Ryan, the Punisher. Batted 422, 44 home runs, 104 RBIs. Batted over 400 with runners in scoring position as well. But look at this. Beat out our teammate who had an incredible season. Nobody was stopping Ryan Gamer though. 302 average, 14 home runs, 66 RBIs, Marte, and then Ronnie Mauricio, if I'm saying that right, for the Mets, had a really good season as well. Evan Carter gets it for the Rangers there in the American League. Wow. 280 average, 28 home runs, 86 RBIs. That's a season right there. Jackson Holiday for the Orioles. 251, 18 home runs, 66 RBIs. And then Colt Keith, 238, 18 home runs, 68 RBIs. All right. Hank Aaron Award. Yeah, it's yeah, it's gonna go to Christian Yelich there. What a great season Yelich had. Now, now the Hank Aaron Award. Is that bait? Do you all know specifically what's that? Let's see if does it say? given to the top hitter in the, each league. So I guess it would depend on what you need to qualify for that. So it could be that Ryan Gamer doesn't have enough games, but we have better stats all across the board. So I think Yelich gets it because Ryan didn't play enough games. Same with some of the other awards here in the NL. They should have called Ryan Gamer up sooner. What can we say? And then it's Corey Seager in the American League. What a season Seager had. Are you kidding me? What? I don't know how Corey didn't win. Did he win? No, Mike Trout won MVP. But wow. Corey Seager dominated. Gold glove. 
moment of truth. That's pitcher. And we could we have won a gold glove though? No. <laughs> Ryan Gamer has yet to ever win a gold glove, unfortunately. It just never happened. Uh, but I don't know. You might have to play a full season to win a gold glove, you know? Let's take a look at the American League just so you all can see them who won in each position. Come on. I wanted that one so bad. Gonna go for MVP next season, though. Okay, Silver Slugger, Shoei Otani, David Fry, that's DH. We got it. Of course, in in right field, outfield, I mean. Wait, did we not? Oh, yeah, we did. You know, I was going to say. <laughs> hey, yes, we did. So we did take it. And then next up, we're going to go for postseason MVP and World Series MVP. That's what we have next, everybody. So I, I like to do an in-depth look at all the stats, and I do want to look at stats per count. That's the last thing I want to look at. I know this video is getting long, but I think it's important to really go back and watch and see everything, you know, like Where do we look at the stats right here? I think it's good to take a look at everything. I think it's fun. That's part of baseball, right? Look at Ryan Gamer in OO counts 422 average 79 hits 72 RBIs 29 home runs You know why Ryan swings at the first pitch and why the manager David Bell always gives swing away that stat right there, but does great in all one counts. Honestly, all the counts we dominated. Look at 2-0. If we can get ahead in the count, 563, only 32 at bats. That's amazing though. Most home runs were hit in 0, -0 counts. And then next up would be 1-1 counts, batting 431. And one thing that's really interesting is we looked at this earlier. Look at 3-0 counts. The reason David Bell stopped giving Ryan Gamer the green light is because he's batting 250. Although he did hit four home runs, six hits, and seven RBIs, that's his lowest average. So, not as. Is that. No, it's not the lowest. 1 2. Okay. So, getting into a 1 2, it, 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 that is my most nervous count. You know, when I'm sitting 1 2, that's when I get really nervous. But interesting enough. You would think 0-2 would be when I'm the most nervous, but clearly do pretty good 0-2. Yeah, it's, it's so cool to look at this. Look at 3-1. 389, 5 home runs, and full count. 27 hits, 29 RBIs, 8 home runs, batting 329. Let's go! Are you kidding me, you two? What an incredible season! And let's take a look at the scouting report. I think this is the last thing we have to look at. Who did we hit the most home runs on? The Brewers, five home runs, and the Cardinals love that. And the Cubs, look at Ryan punishing the NL Central. 11 RBIs against the Brewers. Now, what about average? The Royals, I remember that. That's right, we dominated against the Royals. 643, three home runs, 11 RBIs. Royal Kansas City is going to fear Ryan Gamer. Mets, 636. Seven hits, no home runs, but one RBI. They kind of shut Ryan down from scoring runs, but didn't shut him down from getting on base and getting hits. Yankees, 625. Hey, Yankees will never forget. You know who else will never forget? Aaron Judge. Ryan's first play in Major League Baseball was a stolen home run. You all remember that? Insane. That was absolutely insane. And Blue Jays, 583, five RBIs. Cubs, we already saw that one. Rays, who's our who did we not play? White Sox, Red, of course, we didn't play the Reds. Red Sox, Rangers, Phillies, Padres, Orioles, Mariners, Dodgers, Diamondbacks, and Angels. No at bats in those games. Giants shut us down, didn't they? Oh no, oh no. <laughs> okay, all right, everybody. Uh, Ryan better read his scouting report against the Giants because that's who we play and clearly that's our worst Performing team playing against in five games in 11 at bats Ryan had one hit against the Giants. I don't even remember that struck out twice as well That's terrifying. We didn't play well against the, the Tigers We didn't play well against I wouldn't say that's not playing well 250 is still good but our other stats are just insane. It looks bad compared to our other stats, but that is concerning. 
You have a Giants team who, wow. And who's our best friends? Hunter Green's up there, Lodolo. Bradley, the pitchers love Ryan Gamer, don't they? From his great fielding, of course they do. What about infielders? Helm Collier, 19 year old. And all of them get along besides Christian Strand. All right. TJ Friedel. Yeah, gets along. Will Benson's not too happy with Ryan. That, that's understandable. <laughs> that, that's understandable. I accept that. You know, Ryan did take his starting position. Who's our biggest rival? Because you can look at rivals there, right? Who hates us? <laughs> Let's look at the pictures of the Cardinals and Royals. Can you have rivals here? You can't have true rivals, can you? But they kind of like us, surprisingly. Hey, they're a big fan of Ryan Gamers and his other sports, right? They're a big fan of Ryan's other sporting endeavors. Let's take a look, though, at this Giants team. I really want to see. I know I keep saying it, but I, I want to look at everything. All right, Giants. What have you done this season? 81 and 81. Four and six in their last 10. Didn't close out the season too well. Solid ball club, of course. They're ranked 29th speed, though. And 24th defense, 17th pitching. Yeah, they shut Ryan down. Okay. We can take them down. I'm not scared of anybody. So I need all of your all's one times, all the hype and positive encouraging comments. Ryan Gamer and the Cincinnati Reds will be facing off against the Giants in the next episode. You'll see two games in the next one and then two games and so forth. Let's sweep the Giants. If you got some enjoyment, drop a like, subscribe for more, and check the full playlist down in the video description below to see if more episodes are live in this series, but also to check out Ryan Gamer's other sporting endeavors. He's dominating in the world of sports right now. Five ongoing career modes at the same time and more coming in the future. I will see you in the next one. As always, have a fantastic day, everybody.